Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I know it looks like a hodgepodge of a mess here. Kind of is, ain't gonna lie. Um, I was actually trying to create some alcohol inks. Um, this is not alcohol inks because there is no ink involved in what I'm doing. Um, I'm mixing alcohol with the Mika pigment powder. And then I also used, oops, one of these pigments as well. Check here, product. I got these from Amazon a little while ago. Actually quite some time ago. I, used to, I actually bought these a while to mix my with my acrylic. Um, when I did acrylic. Sorry guys, I have to move you a little. So sorry. Um, yeah, so I've made these two so far. This one is this one, and this silver black is from Mika. So I wanted to see kind of what it was all about, if it even is going to work, if it's just a waste of my time, product, and all that shebang. That being said, um, I have alcohol inks. I have a few of them. I have different colors. I'm wearing um, a couple colors on my hands. But I want. I don't have like natural colors right like I want to be able to make like marble designs these ones I tested earlier is with these two pigments I'm not going to make them I feel like I have a green and a yellow um but I was just seeing how those pigments work I will make gel out of them I do have that was the reason I bought them I'm pretty sure they are I think they're glow in the dark or they're fluorescent I think Well, that's the same thing, but yeah, <laughs> completely just had a brain freeze. Um, but I'm not sure. I haven't tested them, and this does not seem to do anything. Um, yeah. So sorry. Back to my point. I want to be able to make like marbles and stuff, right? Like, kind of like this one is where I was going with it. So I really liked how that turned out, but I feel like I got that effect by almost manipulating that with the top coat as well so I'm not sure but I, I feel like I can still do that with a few different ways but I just kind of want to have this already pre-made so I'm going to make just a couple I want to make a coffee one I really like the color I find like these two are pretty similar I might maybe mix them and let's just see, like why not? What do we have to lose? So I'm just gonna put a smidge with a half a teaspoon. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, and then, right, I don't wanna put too, too much pigment because I guess at the end of the day, like these are quite small containers. And these containers, guys, are like, they're eyeliner containers. I got them empty. Um, oh, sorry, they are empty. Eyeline eyeliner containers. I got them from Crazy Bins, though, on like a dollar day. I did look at Amazon. They do have them on Amazon, but they are like $26, which there's no way I would ever pay that. But that is your business if that would work for you. I seen them, I picked them up because I thought maybe I could use them for cuticle oil. That was the reason that when I seen them, I was like, oh, okay, for a dollar, can't go wrong. But I don't know wherever you're watching if you guys have a crazy bin or not, right? And it's a hit or miss if you will find anything there anyways. So, it's pretty pigmented. But I know I'm going to have to add a little bit more alcohol to that. Such a nice color. Alright. Oh, I didn't dry my thing. Guys, I have a little bucket of soapy water. And then I have a bucket of just... Um, was warm water. Now it's... Both of them are kind of cold. Just sitting off here to the side. Just old Tupperware dishes that I don't use anymore. Or that I just use for like around the house stuff. Not for food or anything. Um... Yeah, so I can keep washing this. I only have one that fits inside of here. Oops. 
That's so annoying to me because I was using this and that was worked so much better without spilling. And that just spilled everywhere. I do have a paper towel underneath this too and I always have my protectant mat. But still, that was kind of annoying. I don't even know why I mixed it in the little damping dish. I wasn't doing that earlier. See, I come on here. You guys get me all flustered. Start doing things backwards. Alright, so we can put a little more. Like I said, I think the amount of pigment is fine. Oopsie daisy. Did I go a little ham? Nope, that's perfect. So if I can, I will just see if I can get that little bit in there. Now, what I should have done. Okay, so this I'm just going to put in my water. And all of these came with these little inserts. And that's just to make them so they are not, or so they are leak proof. Now, that being said, they're designed to take product off of the, um, the little thingy magic. So I'm just going to put little slits because actually I don't want it to make product come off. I want it to be pure. Because if it takes it all off, it's defeating my purpose, right? Okay. And then I, oops. Okay. Note to self, don't fill it up that high. Okay guys, it's gonna do it anyways. I'm just gonna put it on over the water. Put it in the water. So guys, I really don't want these lids on it. Um, they won't fit where I want them to be stored with the lids. So I actually like that I could take those lids off. There we go. Now guys, these will separate if you look at this little guy here sitting. It's going to separate the powder. Just give her a shake. We will give this one a little test. Let's put that over there. This is very, very messy. I definitely recommend wearing gloves. I know you don't have to. Well, they said you don't have to let them sit. But I feel like they work better once they sit for a little bit. I YouTubed a few different things. There's not a lot of information that I really, unless I was just maybe not searching correctly, that could have been it too. For doing it for nails. See, it's not really like, they're not going to be crazy like how the alcohol, or sorry, how the ink would be. And I know that. So if you want it to be very, very pigmented, um, kind of like how the inks are or however the ink will stay. I don't think this probably will be the route for you guys. I guess I know you can make them with Sharpies. I don't have any old Sharpies or I would give it a go. But I know I will be keeping my Sharpies now to test that out. And then we have just alcohol here. So then you can just go in and kind of build it. I was actually layering, like layering them. That's how I got this effect. But then I don't know if I'm even liking how this is going. If I'm just wasting my time in my containers, I don't know. But I think I still like to do these particular colors. So you can have just like that gold accent, and that bronze maybe accent into something. I don't know guys, this is strictly experimental. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know like really how, I just don't know. That's my motto for this 
whole thing. But it does work because I did these these two. But I did do these two from a palette. So that might make me think from the palette you're going to get more concentrated because it does have that dry. You're going to dry rehydrate. Right? So now I'm wondering if you do want to do this, would it be better just to mix a little bit of powder on a palette and then just do your creation like that? I don't know if this is just kind of making it too watered down. Maybe ink is the better. Well, I, I truly think ink would probably be the best way to go if you're trying to recreate the alcohol ink. Because, you know, ink is definitely more, um, well, it's way more pigment, it's going to stay, it's ink, right? This is just, it's just powdered, right? It's just powdered pigment, colored pigment, or colored powder, sorry. Um, so yeah, but it's definitely fun giving it a go. And if we don't try, we don't experiment with these things, then we're never going to know what we do have just laying around in our stuff, right? Puffed me. So I want to try the silver white. And this one I feel like will be a nice contrast. So I'm going to put a healthy amount in there. These two I've already made gels out of. So I was kind of trying to keep these two separate. So we'll put that just back into my already made gel. Maybe I'm missing a step. Is there like a step maybe I'm missing while I feel like it's a little watered? I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments how either bad I did or yeah, I kind of got the concept. <laughs> we will see, right? Oops, sorry guys, I feel like I'm not even in camera. In um, in your zone. And guys, the giveaway is still going on. Um, the twenty second. I will announce the winner. Like I said, guys, it's a random thing. Um, it is my first giveaway. I did hit it pretty quick. Um, I was not expecting that, so thank you guys so much for that. Um, so I think there there definitely is a few hiccups in um, how I kind of thought to put, like, what you guys were supposed to do. It was really just, like, go over to my Instagram, you know what I mean, like a picture or something, follow me, that would be great. Obviously, we're, like, trying to build platforms. Um, and then I just added after, just, um, type in, in any of the videos, doesn't matter what one, just type in enter me, hashtag enter me. I figure that was the easiest one that I, I, um, I kind of settled on. Don't get me wrong, if you went to Instagram and you followed and you did all that great stuff, thank you guys so, so much. I truly appreciate it if you guys have Instagram and Facebook and all that, but for the people that don't, you can just do on any any of the videos to so just comment um, hashtag enter me and that's perfectly fine guys like I said this is my first first time doing this first giveaway um, I just started the channel just over a month ago so I am still a little new to it all right uh, it doesn't want to come off oh my goodness gracious did no wonder this is going everywhere on me I did that again Ugh, that's annoying myself. I keep forgetting to put the plastic thing in. Um, oh. Yeah, this is definitely a messy, messy process. Um, 
Columbia Eye. So I did also kind of show you what was in the little goodie box for you guys. Like I said, guys, there's not a lot of stuff, so please, please understand I didn't have a lot of time. And it's just extra stuff that I got or little things that I try to put together. So please understand that, that it's not nothing too crazy. And I just want to show my appreciation for all you guys. I truly truly appreciate so let me know guys in the comments if you guys want me to do a video on what's in the box do you guys want me just to just like fully show you what's in the box or is the little TikTok I made just going over the box fine I was gonna make it and then I was like I don't know if I should mm, so let you guys tell me I was gonna try to do a poll but then I read that you need to have a thousand subscribers to be able to do a poll so, I'm not there yet to be able to ask you guys that. So, I'm just going to ask you in this little experiment with me video. Right? What are we at? 16? I think that's, like, good enough. Right, guys? So, I'm going to try this on this one. And I think I'm going to try it with the... Let's try it with this coffee. It hasn't sat a long time, but I think it's fine. So how I was doing this earlier, I kind of manipulated it with the top coat. I found the top coat was letting me do more what I wanted to do with it. See, it just gives you a slight smidge of a color, right? So I'm just going to go in with this little top coat. And it does smear it and that's something I noticed too. So there's a few things that I'm not a huge fan of. I think that's why I'm not going to make a lot of them. Because I'm not quite sure if I really like what it's doing. But I wanted to make a couple just to see and I'm going to let them sit. So not curing the top coat guys. It does have this like almost blooming effect, which I kind of like. So maybe that's what we created instead of like alcohol ink. <laughs> well, it kind of is, right? I guess the alcohol ink does do that when you add um, alcohol to it. Like, I mean, when you dip your thing back in. So you can kind of manipulate it with the top coat. I feel it's the only way I'm getting what I'm looking for is with putting the top coat on it. So. And again, I think this would definitely want to be like a layering process. I don't think I'm going to get what I want in just one layer. But let me know guys, like have you guys tried this? Is there a better way? Or if I'm going to do it, like, really want to get that effect of kind of making my own inks just to use, like, probably the Sharpies or, or just buy the inks. But I like this because I feel like I have quite a few colors, but I wanted these, like, earth tone colors. I wanted stuff to be able to make, like, granite looking nails and, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's really what I wanted. I have pinks and blues and reds and I have all the standard ones and that's really what you're going to get from Sharpies. But like this effect, like that rock, that natural effect. Is what I wanted. So like I said, the only way I feel that this works for me guys is putting a top coat on, put a little bit on it. And then put that top coat and it just, I don't know what it does. It just, I said it almost gives it that blooming effect. And then if you just want to spread it out, why did I do that? 
You know how often I actually put things in the alcohol dish? It's because I use the same dishes too much for the same things. I have to stop doing that. I did that the other day. I kept putting the glue when I was doing the rhinestones in the same one I had to hold it. So silly. And so this is like if you just want to keep the color that you have on there and I just want to manipulate this a little bit. I don't want to add any more of the charcoal. Actually, it's not charcoal. What color did we use, guys? I should have labeled these. All right, I'm going to have to label them on them use coffee didn't we let's put coffee out and then the two that I put down there was the silver white and I think the black silver so I know what colors these are I can see it but if you know that you can label it with the colors I've kind of realized that you should because I've messed that up on my own self with glitter I've had a chance to label it and then I didn't end up and now there's no going back because it's all mixed in the drawer and it'll be hard for me to figure out what's what. So you guys kind of get what I'm trying to do, you know what I mean? It does bring a pretty cool effect though. Should I bring it closer for you guys? Sorry, I feel like I'm so far away. My bad. I'm so wee. Yeah, so you do kind of get what it does, right? Now, if you feel like you want to add a little bit more, we're just going to go. Let's not put it in there. Oh, give her a shake. Because you know, guys, that powder will sink to the bottom. You can just kind of go in where you want a little extra color. So like I said, guys, this I feel only works when you put that top coat over top of it. Well, then you can manipulate it kind of however you want. But I feel like it gives it like a granite-ish rock feel. Marbleization. That's really what it is, I guess. And then whenever you're happy with it, pop it in the lamp. So I think I'm fine with that. Looks pretty good. The more you want the veining, you just kind of push the color to the one side and the more veining you want. Remember guys, if you, you can build on it too, right? So this okay, for instance, will be like our first layer. And then if we want to go in and put maybe some of this like silver, that silvery white just to get a shimmer. Or if you just want more defined lines, right? Go back in. Put another top coat layer on. I'm just going to cure this, guys. If I can get it in. Um, yeah, put another top coat layer on and then go back in and do some more. So these are the little ones. I think that's all I'm going to make for now. Because I feel like this is, oh sorry, this coffee, oh, I guess the bronze is a bit different. Eh? I might make the bronze guys, I might just do that one extra one. Just to kind of have like the earth tones and that's really what I wanted is earth tones. I don't have any earth tones in in the inks that I have so I wanted to kind of create something that can give me that same effect.
And I think I found it. Like I said, it's not it's not perfect, but with the top coat and the little manipulation, I think I'm on to something. Like I said, if there's an easier or better way, please guys let me know. Maybe I'm missing a step. Who knows? I'm just going to let you guys see that, what I was talking about. So it gives it a beautiful effect. And that's just my opinion. I'm only one person. Is it not? It doesn't really want you to see, does it? Okay, there we go, guys. Sorry. And like I said, you can layer up. So I could do another layer, add a few more tones and shades in there. But I definitely like where it's going and what it's giving me. So guys, thank you so much for coming in my little my studio today and just making this mess. I don't know if you guys want to come over. I'll put the tea kettle on. You can help me clean it. No, you're good? I thought I'd give it a whirl. <laughs> guys, let me know. Um, I'm just going to ask it this one time, so I'm not going to ask it again in any of the videos, so I guess you're going to have to check this one out till the end. Um, do you guys want to see what's in the giveaway box? We still have a couple days. I will put this up today, so this will be up for Tuesday. Um, and the giveaway, I think the I think I'll do the either announcement, I think, what did I say, the 21st or 22nd? So the Sunday or Monday, I can't think of what day it is right now. I'm not in front of a calendar, and you guys are on my phone. So, but it'll be one of the days, either Sunday or Monday. Um, so, you only have a couple days to get me feedback, and let me know if you guys do want to see what is in that box. So let me know in the comments. If you haven't entered already, guys, enter any of the social medias. It doesn't matter. Even on um, the YouTube, just enter hashtag enter me. And you're good. You'll be entered. No worries. Now, I'm not trying to make it too difficult. I'm sorry if I did make it a little difficult. Please forgive me. This is my first time, so I'm doing my best to figure it all out as well. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for making my little alcohol, alcohol pigments. Thanks, guys. You guys have